custom field enables an administrator to define employee data fields in addition to those that are already available in the solution. Custom fields are a great way to ensure that all required employee data is captured, even if there isn't a predefined field already set up. An unlimited number of custom fields can be created and you can group employees by certain data in reports. From the settings menu, choose employee data and then custom fields. Here on this screen, you can add a new custom field. Some companies may wish to capture data about the children of employees and this button here allows you to add a child custom field. Administrator Theo has been asked to add a new custom field about the size of the t-shirt employees would need for future promotional events. Theo clicks add new. He gives the field a name. There are a number of options available for the type of field. In this case, Theo selects drop down as he wants the employee to be able to select their own size. Optionally, a description can be added. The destination of this custom field can be selected from the drop down. The custom field can either be on the personal tab or the employee tab. In this case, Theo wants the custom field to be on the employee tab. So he selects that from the drop down. For the t-shirt sizing, Theo provides the options which should be in the custom field drop down. Small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Each entry for the drop down is entered on a separate row, one at a time. In this section, there are a number of options which can be selected or not. Theo needs to be able to report and filter using this information, so selects Enable as filter in reports. He also wants to enable employees to edit their t-shirt size if needed and leaves everything else as it is. All of these fields can however be toggled on or off depending on the specific requirement for the custom field. He clicks add. The O can now determine who has access to this custom field. He could choose to use the filter to limit the eligibility to certain employees, but in this case, he actually needs all employees to have this custom field. He selects everyone and then clicks save. The custom field has been created. If necessary, the custom field can be edited or deleted here. To amend who has access to the custom field, you would click eligibility. If there are a number of different custom fields and you need to reorder them, these can be dragged and dropped into order. The custom field is now available for use. Remember the custom field will either be located on the personal tab or the employee tab, depending on how it was set up. Here we see the t-shirt custom field on the employee page. Click to reveal the options available in the drop down and the employee would select the appropriate t-shirt size. Now that the custom field has been created, it is also available for reports. Administrator Theo clicks reports, employee data, then custom reports. So when Theo creates a new report, he can pull in the t-shirt size data as a field in his report. Here you can see Theo using the custom field for t-shirt size in his report. He selects small in the drop down and the list of employees is filtered to show those with that size preference. Drop down and multi-select custom fields can also be used in other reports. Here, Theo is creating a time off report for business trips. If he selects include additional custom fields in Excel report, he can then select the additional custom fields that he needs to go in his report.